Alright, so the chair comes with these cushions and it's quite comfortable. So basically you put it on your top and you can sit on it. Yeah. This video is brought to you by Home Trust, Singapore's trusted community review site which offers advice and feedback from hundreds of reviews for homeowners. Looking for an interior designer? All you need to do is fill up the form in the homepage, choose your housing type, budget and style, then you're good to go. Home Trust will filter out the interior designers and projects based on your requirements, which makes things easier for you. You can visit their latest review page to read up on authentic reviews by the community. As part of their policy, Home Trust does not remove any reviews, whether positive or negative, which provides greater transparency in this industry. Homeowners may include the ID's background or images for reference, and you can click on their portfolio to find out more about the firm, such as their ratings and the ratings breakdown. So, visit their website now at www.hometrust.sg or via the link in the description box down below. So, we'll be going through some of the top of stuff that we purchased for the living room so let's get started all right so the first one will be this tv console but we call it the projector console as we have no tv but we have a projector that is sitting right inside this projector console right here so we purchased this from Taobao and we purposely got it as we wanted to house the projector you know rather than it being on top and collecting dust we wanted it we wanted to house it in a concealed like environment for itself that's why we purchased this uh, projector console right here it's about 2.2 meters long so it features a glass so this glass is for the projector to uh, project out the image onto the uh, wall right here all right so the curtains are currently closing whoops all right so now the curtains are closed and the projector screen is up and running Right there, let it look for a while. So a bit of background, this projector is a 4K projector and we are using the Google TV. So it's the one with the remote control and we use this to watch our shows and control our smart home with this thing. Not bad, uh, it's a 100 inch. Let me show you a full picture of it. Yeah, so it's slightly cropped due to the movie but as in like this is how it looks like overall. Looks great. Anyways, so we really enjoy, you know, having movie nights at, in our house itself. It really feels like a theater and our friends also liked it as well. So now we'll be, I'll be showing you guys the features for this console. So firstly, the left hand side uh, is just a bunch of random stuff that we haven't organized yet. But it just features this like huge storage space. So most likely we will purchase some like boxes or what to store stuff. Later I'll show you guys this thing right here. So stay tuned. Right. And next the console actually features a mesh over here. This mesh can be uh thick thick as in like you can open up this part as well. It's mesh because you're supposed to fit your soundbar or what inside here. But uh we prefer the soundbar to be outside because the sound that projects out is much clearer and more crispy. That's why we put it up on top instead. So currently it's housing our uh, extension wires. Yeah, some of the smart home stuff like the smart gateway, the IR blaster to control the fans and whatnot. And this is the projector itself. Yeah, actually if you don't have a sound bar, right, the sound from the projector itself is quite quite good as well. So if let's say we don't have the sound bar, right, this will be sufficient and this will then project the sound out from this uh, mesh right here. Alright, so for this side, that's where we house our Nintendo Switch stuff and the Wi-Fi router as well, our TP-Link router. So basically you can see here, the space is super huge inside and we really need to figure out what we want to put here and how we want to, you know, place it neatly. La. Some of you may be wondering like, won't it get very hot? as the projector is like in concealed inside this console yes it does it's actually quite hot basically what's special about this console is it features usb fans as you can see one there and the second one is behind there i'm not sure there over there second one and the third one which is at the corner there 
Alright, so basically these USB fans are there to help to, you know, suck the air out from the console and out to the open area. Yeah, so basically to the back of the console lah, so the heat will actually come out from the back there. Alright, so I think that's about it for the uh, projector console. Uh, same thing, the link is in the link tree link, which is inside the description box down below. So do check it out. If you are looking for a short throw projector, I highly recommend this TV console or AKA projector console. Alright, so for the next item, we call this the accordion chair. I don't know whether is it the exact name, but let me open you for you guys to see. Be right back. Alright, so I open it up. So we bought this cause firstly it's space saving and secondly it's functionable. Alright, so the chair comes with these cushions and it's quite comfortable. So basically you put it on your own top and you can sit on it. Everybody loves it also. A lot of people are quite interested with this item as well. And yeah. And it's really, really, really comfortable to sit on. I mean, it's not like super comfortable, but at least you can sit down and you feel safe sitting down. Uh. Alright, so all you need to do is just to uh, pull this open and then you can just place the cushions on top of it. So as we bought a three-seater, that's why we have three cushions. To keep it simple, so all you need to do is just to press the whole thing in. So you just need to take this strap and loop over the chair itself. Right, and that's it. We are done. And what we usually do is we just slot the cushions in between the strap. Lah. Yeah, so we just place it like that. Alright, so for the next top out item would be this bad boy right here. This is a dining slash coffee table. So what do I mean by dining slash coffee table? Let me show it to you guys. So as you can see, it's currently a coffee table. Uh, the placement is not really right because there isn't much space to walk there but basically coffee table and let me show you guys the dining table now alright so I've lifted it up and here is how the dining table looks like it's extendable as well yeah so if you notice the, the line here so basically what you can do is open up the table itself and it features uh, two panels right here so you can extend up to two panels so up to 2.2 meters all right so here is one panel long i think one panel is 1.8 meters if i'm not wrong so this the dining slash coffee table loving it it's one of the best buys from Taobao, and we got it at a price of 800 dollars but unfortunately the price went up for this table so not sure the price now so you guys can go and check it out so let me keep this and then we'll move on to the next item which is this big boy at the back there. Alright so I've kept the accordion chair so now we'll be talking about the sofa. So basically it's a 2.6 meter sofa bed. Yep. And we got it from Taobao and I think we got it around 600-ish. Yeah quite a good deal. Considering the size, yeah, and the material is actually fabric, which we love a lot as compared to leather. I mean, in Singapore's weather, unless you're on aircon daily, right? Leather is a no go. So, the reason why we got this is firstly, it's a sofa bed. As you know, that we hacked our rooms, right? So, basically, we only got one room. So, having a sofa bed gives uh, our guests an option to sleep here if they want to. And secondly would be this headrest right here. So for most sofa beds, right, the headrests actually are not that high. Yeah, but for this, right, it's actually quite high. And also, you're able to adjust the headrest up like that. Yep, so you can sit comfortably with your head resting on the headrest itself. It's actually very comfortable as well. Super soft. Yeah. I think we opt for the, like, coconut material I think something like that not too sure what it is and let me show you guys the next feature which is basically a storage space that is underneath the the long the L part I'm gonna lift this up now okay and here it is there's a bit of storage underneath uh, we have not decided what we want to put inside but basically I think we'll buy like storage boxes to Maybe put like the pillow covers and we I just placed the accordion chair inside here 
Okay, and for the rest of the sofa, it comes with a mini remote control pocket right there. And the side also can be lifted up here. And it also comes with these three uh, back cushions, this one. Yep, and this is how the rest of the sofa looks like. Oh, right. <laughs> totally forgot about the, the this section of it. So, let me just show it to you guys now. So all you need to do is just to pull it out and lift up the sofa a bit. I've lifted it up so this is how the sofa bed looks like and if let's say if we were to fit like a lot of people right it's actually like if you cross leg right it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine. at least 8 to 9 actually honestly depends on how you sit lah but yeah you can we can when we sit down right with the so far bit open we can comfortably stretch our legs and watch the movie here it's really damn comfortable so let me keep this down it's actually very easy to keep also same thing all you need to do is to lift this rope up then let it drop down put it back in and slide it back down yay all right fantastic all right so we've come to the end of this episode we hope that you guys enjoyed it and the next one will be our very special, not say special, but it's our last minute add-on in the kitchen. So do stay tuned for that and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!